Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And uh, we got another beer video for you. This one's a little bit different. We got It is a Gun. It's my first Scottish beer on the channel. Sits at a 6.1 alcohol. It's a barrel style, which means it was aged in a barrel. Um, I've never had a beer like this. I really don't know what to expect. I have no expectations. Reading the reviews online, it looks like a really good craft beer. Back in 2014, this beer actually won gold at the International Drinking Competition. So most of my channel with beers has been Canadian beers. Uh, even though this one is made in Scotland, according to the website, it is the number one craft beer in Canada. So, pretty fitting. So, we're going to crack this one open and give it a go. That may have been the smoothest open on the channel. I will get good at this, I promise. Shut up. So as I said, I have no expectations of this beer. Reading the reviews online, it's supposed to be really good. One thing throwing me off though is on the can, it says um, it's supposed to have hints of dark chocolate, coffee, alongside hints of vanilla and oak. That doesn't sound appetizing to me. I'm not a fan of coffee. I don't mind dark chocolate. Um, vanilla, I'm not huge on. So, maybe this, the whole mixture is just isn't for me. So, we'll give it a go. Holy shit. That is really nice. Wow. Not expecting that at all. Holy crap. That was really good. Wow. Jesus. I'm surprised. I'm impressed. Very good. Good and good. It is. It is and good. It is good. Very good. So if you watch these beer videos, you know I like to find as much information on the company and the beer as I can. Like I said, this beer won gold at a competition. A great as should have. That's very nice. It's the number one crafted beer in Canada. That's awesome. So the brewery was founded in 2003. And is exported over 35 countries in the world. Can't get over how nice that is. Goes down easy. No aftertaste. Very smooth. Wow. I, I can't believe how good that is. This is, has to be my number one on the channel. Oh wow. If you haven't tried this and you're a beer guy, go out and get this beer. I think you'll love it. I was surprised how much I like this. The Scots are doing something good. And it's not on the soccer field. Just shot at stew. It's amazing how all these flavors that I'm not a big fan of come together and it creates something. Wow. This also might be my first barrel style beer as far as I know. I don't think I've ever had a beer that advertises it anyways. I think I'm going to look for more of them. I'm very impressed. Not only is this the number one craft beer in Canada, it's also in the top three of Sweden and the US. Fun fact, the other day, I, I said to my dad, I bet you anything, the number one selling beer in America is Bud Light. And he didn't disagree, but he thought maybe something else would be above it. Um, so it turns out the three selling, the top three selling beers in the U.S. are all light beers. That's disgusting. So the fact that this is the top three, in the top three crafted beers in America, I'm impressed. I like that. I don't drink light beer, by the way. It's disgusting. Uh, the first time I ever had a Bud Light, I almost puked. I thought it was the most disgusting thing ever. Do you want to try it? We're going to smell test. That's a negative. <laughs> After beer, that was a Bud Light Apple. Because she's more of an Android beer. <laughs> <laughs> Very impressed. I think I'll be buying more of this. Or at least beers like this. I don't know. If you have any barrel stout beers you want to recommend. Or 
uh, Irish Risky Cask beers. Let me know. Maybe I should just try more international beers. I think the only other one I did was the Chimay, which was from Belgium. I'm not sure if I've done any others. I think a lot of them have been craft beers from Canada, specifically Ontario, actually. So if there's any more beers like this, recommend some. I'd love to drink them. Give them a try if I can get my hands on them. Something I might start looking into is um the specialty beers or the limited editions that they release. That I think most people have sent to their house. I mentioned in the Easter video I did where there was the, like a Cadsbury cream egg. Obviously, it wasn't Cadsbury, but and it was like a, it was a cream egg like can. Um, I think it was a limited edition one type stuff. I'm also looking for those. I don't know how much it costs or where to even find them. I guess there's websites for it. I, I'll take a look. Um, just to add a little bit more variety. Um, again, more stuff like this from uh, international points. Anyways, I'll look into more beers like those. A little bit more, um, a little bit more, uh, why do I want to say dangerous? Not dangerous, a little bit more uh, different. That's the word. Adventurous. Explorational. <laughs> I wonder if I could get that, this in a bottle or if anywhere here has it on draft. That would be a nice thing to try. Because I mean, bottles of cans on draft I have whole different flavors. One of my favorite beers on draft is Shock Top, and it has a totally different. Uh, only different taste than the can. I do enjoy the can, but I prefer it on draft. Budweiser, not a big fan of the bottle, hate the can, not by draft. That's a beer I do not get, is Budweiser. Not a big fan of that beer at all. It is one of the last ones I reach for, but it's very popular. Don't really get it. Some of my go to beers are Canadian. Um, really depends on the season. In the summer, I love Heineken or Corona. Uh, winter, I'm looking more at a Canadian. Um, in the summer, I also used to love uh, drinking Newcastle, but I don't really get that much anymore. Another summer one is Shock Top. As you see, I have a problem with drinking in the summer. <laughs> Shock Top and Newcastle, though, those are um, more of memory beers, where I think of, if I drink one, uh, it brings me back to when I was started drinking them or why I started drinking them and both not Newcastle but Shock Top always out of soccer games Newcastle I used to get them before soccer games but it's not the first time I had them I do enjoy them though I do think this will be one of my last full-on beer reviews if I get something crazy I think I will do it I'm still gonna be drinking I'll still be telling you my opinion on beers but this will be my last video I think dedicated mostly towards them I will be doing more videos on um drinking talking about the beer but doing more of a story time uh if you saw my last video pub talk i'm gonna start doing more of those uh where i tell a story something that's happened to me while having a drink with you guys you can't go to the bar can't go to the pub can't tell these stories anywhere else so we'll have a drink and tell it to you guys i hope you enjoy them and have a drink with me while watching the video cheers all right guys it's the bottom of the glass so it's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And check out my other videos. You guys have a good one. I'll be back again soon.